talk about the uh, Cholo, the uh, Cholo uh, history in, in, in Cali. Um, I know it wasn't accepted, at, you know, a long time ago, and I used to get in fights over it and stuff like that. Did you have to experience any of that kind of hate towards the, the, the Cholo community? Well, no, not really. I mean, um, what was that before your time? By the time you're talking about the zoot suiters, that's some other. Yeah, that's a, that's before. That's before my time. Yeah, that's before yeah, my yeah. time, Oops. Did, did 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 your pops have to go through that? Did he have to experience any of that? No, my my pops didn't go through that. He was always a hard worker. You know, my pops was a he was a Golden Gloves boxer, and he also oh, played okay. soccer. So he was always in the sports, and he always worked. You know, he always worked, saved his money, stacked his money. You know, we buy he would buy houses. You know what I mean? Rent them out. You know, the, he was a gallero. You know, he uh, entrenaba gallos y los peleaba. He almost a los palenques, you know what I mean? So, you know, so él tenía unos palenques también. So, you know, that's, uh, my dad was was a whole different, you know, he wasn't into the cholo stuff. He was into the other okay. stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just like your jefito, my jefito, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of uh, cholos jefitos, you know what I mean? Son galleros, you know, vienen, you know? Yeah. They come from Mexico, they come from Guatemala, they come from El Salvador, Honduras, you know, hard workers. Worldwide, worldwide. Worldwide galleros, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I know I know a bunch of those 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 guys that get down with that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, man. So that, that that's crazy crazy uh, up, upbringing. Um so um um you know, I, I don't want to get into too many things, but like um you know, I see you're tatted up on the face and stuff. At what age did you get tatted up? Because I know I have some tattoos on me. I got tatted up at 13. And, you know, it, back in the day, it wasn't accepted like it is now. Uh, people Whoa. used to lock their doors and shit when they used to see me, you know. I don't remember when I got my first my first tat. But, you know, um, I know these, uh, my face, you know, it was uh, probably, uh, probably two years ago. You know, but this is more spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Uh because, you know, from my mom's side of the family, you know, I mean, uh, it's, uh, mi abuelito era Chiracawa, Apache, okay. you know, so I come from that lineage, you know, and uh, her mom was also 100% native, but my mom was born in Mexico, but my grandparents are nativos, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, my jefe, you know, son Maya. So yo vengo del lineaje nativo. So these, this is spiritual, is my war paint. Porque yo trabajo mucho con muertos, soy muertero. So esto es lo que quieren mis muertos que me ponga, to communicate and connect with them, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's why I got this. But as for the other ones, you know, that's, that's on some other, some other stuff, you know? My yeah. devil horns and all that, that's uh, a stupid time in my life. Right. That's before I grew up. <laughs> You know, we all go through that bullshit, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah, so so talk a little bit about that. Like, you know, the uh, so 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 how does that work? Like you 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 talk to the dead or how does this work? I work with the dead, homes. You know, uh soy palero, you know, y hago diferentes brujerías, homes. Soy espiritista. You know, I left all that other bullshit behind, all that gang shit, all that stupid negative childish shit I left it behind. You know, and now I spend my time helping people, curándolos, quitándoles brujería. You know, uh, ayudarle con, hacer trabajos para ellos. You know, if they have uh, money blockages, if the relationship's fucked up, you know, if uh, they need help with court, you know, if, if, uh, Anything they got, you know, they need help with. This is where right. I come in. You know, a lot of my fan base, that's why. That's how I help them. You know, whether it's healing or doing whatever I got to do, you know, to resolve. You know, and to resolve, you know, I got to speak. I got to speak to the dead, communicate with the dead. How we do in Palo Monte. And that's how you get answers. You know, uh, communicate, uh, consult with Santa Muerte. You know, and that's how you resolve and you help people. Whether it's uh, San Juditas Tadeo, Malverde, Pancho Villa, you know, uh, San Miguel, whoever I got to work with, you know? 
that's what I do now. I dedicate myself now to do that, to help people. Got you. I got you. So around, uh, so was that like uh, something that um, was shared with you as as a youngster, or, or did it come down your family line, or something that you learned along the way? Well, until recently, I found out that my family was into that, but I never knew before. Right. I never knew before. You know, I mean, uh, I would, uh, I've always seen the dead since I was a kid, but I didn't know what it was. Hmm. You know, I thought it was just scary, you know, and after a while I got used to it, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah. You know, until I got into this religion of Palomonte and I started getting answers. You know, and he said, yo el pacto con los muertos. And that's when I found out what I got to do, you know, mi camino de mi vida. You know, tengo que, you know, my path is Ifa, you know, my path is Palomonte. I got to do all the different paths that I got to do in order to uh, progress and be able to help people.